in this lecture we're going to start studying about the quantization of the electromagnetic field so the lagrangian density for the electromagnetic field is given here it is written in terms of the electric and the magnetic uh, fields okay so it is written in terms of the electric and magnetic field but the electric and the magnetic fields are determined by the vector potential a okay it is determined by the vector potential a but however the story goes that the vector potential that determines the field it is in itself not unique that is you can this is called the gauge transformation okay so here this is actually called the gauge transformation we'll be seeing this later so here we see that this uh, that a and a prime both produce the same field so the the vector potential that determines the uh, field is not unique in that it it can transform according to the gauge transformation so later on this arbitrary arbitrariness in the uh, in the magnet the vector potential we will fix by a process called gauge fixing okay so that we will see later on so here you can see that the field the electromagnetic field itself is written going to be written in terms of the uh, vector potential a so that is going to be your field okay so a, e, the uh, electromagnetic field is written in terms of e and b which are in cell written in terms of a so a is going to be your uh, electromagnetic uh, field okay so the momentum conjugate to the field is determined here by this formula that we had studied the momentum conjugate to the field a is determined here now how do we determine a so a is determined by this is actually the laplace equation actually so you would have studied about two equations right so you studied del so del square uh, so this is your poisson's equation when there is a source right when when there is no source the poisson's equation is called your laplace equation now this is the four dimensional space time right generalization of your laplace equation okay so this is your four dimensional uh, generalization so space time in four dimensional minkowski space time so as i said this course involves an understanding of special relativity and uh, electromagnetic theory okay there's and quantum mechanics also so in four dimensional space time the generalized laplacian can be written out that way this way and the source there is no source so therefore um, that's why we are talking about the quantization of the free electromagnetic field with no sources okay that's what, that's why we are determining the a with no source so now a now has solutions of this form okay so a now has solutions of this form so here you can see that a has these are just coefficients a a k and uh, a k uh, prime are just coefficients and here you can actually see that this has plane wave solutions okay so when you see that they have plane wave solutions that immediately brings into the picture the harmonic oscillator the quantum harmonic oscillator right so in a quantum harmonic oscillator the energies are quantized so if you can write these plane wave solutions in terms of the um, oscillatory modes of the uh, quantum harmonic oscillator in terms of the creation and annihilation operators then we will have we would have quantized the electromagnetic field so that's what we are doing here so this v just denotes the that we are uh, so we are integ the field is contained in a volume b okay so the v just denotes that the field is contained in a volume v so here we set out to uh, we write out the a in terms of the so this is called the quantum oscillatory fourier mode expansion okay so we have the fourier mode expansion so we'll keep it repeatedly keep seeing this in all field theories we will repeatedly see this so uh so they are expanded in in terms of the in their in terms of the oscillatory modes and uh, uh, omega k is the uh, frequency for each frequency we have the 
uh, creation and the annihilation operators and and we have expanded in the fourier mode so so as we said here once we determine a b and b and uh, e can be determined using uh, this formula and therefore we have e and uh, b the vector potential determines e and b and uh, again as i said uh, the fact that this guarantees uh, what warrants the writing of the field this way is that this obeys the uh, canonical commutation relationship so you would recognize this is your so this was your field then uh, in in our harmonic oscillator we have x and p right x and p the momentum they obey the commutation commutation relations so i h bar i h bar right so this r and r prime are just the field point so if they are the same then this you can recover this commutation relationship so a is our field so which uh, uh, when comparing with uh, so uh, it compares with x the per and p is your momentum okay so we have momentum here so if the field points are the same then you recover your your canonical commutation relationship of your harmonic oscillator quantum harmonic oscillator so that is about quantization so this is about quantization of your electromagnetic field and uh, if you find these lectures useful um, please subscribe to our channel and uh, please spread the word around